Well, three people are dead after a crash last night just west of Ankeny in rural Polk County. Deputies say one car ran a stop sign and T-boned the other. KCCI's Bo Bowman is live tonight at the intersection where it happened. Yeah, Laura, Jody, the skid marks in the road here tell us what happened at the intersection of Enterprise Road and Northeast 46, but it's the markers in the ditch that show us the end result. A cross along Northeast 46th Street marks the spot where three people were killed in a crash Sunday night. The Polk County Sheriff's Office says a car driving north toward Elkhart blew a stop sign at highway speeds, T-boning another car traveling east on Enterprise Road. Early on it looks like speed and then uh, uh, the north southbound traffic does have a stop sign there and it looks like the northbound vehicle did miss that stop sign. Officers say it happened just before 8 o'clock Sunday night. Tire marks along the highway mark the path of destruction. The cars slid into this field where the Bondurant Fire Department says one vehicle was upside down and on fire. And it looks like one of the motors of the vehicles, which will be a white car, is burning in the brush in a field. That's uh, received. Can you add uh, engine and a second ambulance to this? All three people, one in the car that blew the stop sign and two in the car that was hit, died at the scene. It's unfortunate because it's highway speeds out there. So at 55 plus, um, if there's going to be an accident, generally it's, it's not a good one. Monday, deputies and the Polk County Medical Examiner were back at the intersection continuing their investigation. They still don't know why the driver traveling north missed the stop sign. I didn't receive any information that that's early on, but again, really early on. It just happened last night. I know they, they were out there taking the measurements and stuff, but they're going to work to put all that information together. The Polk County Sheriff's Office has not released the names of the victims yet. They're expecting to do that tomorrow. In Polk County, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.